I'm proven wrong. Um, the other claim I'm making is that um, either, either my work is correct, the quantized numerical torus is correct, and the technology needs to be reconfigured, rewound design, or we have to redefine what we're talking about with vortex-based mathematics because if my winding pattern is incorrect, it means that doubling circuits aren't circuits at all and that we're modeling, what we're modeling as circuits are, are really spires which are going over the surface of the doubling circuits. Two different things. I believe that modeling your circuits by spires doesn't allow the nested vortices to occur or to occur at their maximum potential. Okay. All right. Here are, and you can write these down. I don't have time to write them all down and post them right now, but I'll read them slowly so that you can follow me. Okay. So when I give the numbers here, if I say nine by nine or 18 by 18, I'm starting with even groups. So in other words, it's either going to be nine by nine, 18 by 18, 27 by 27, 36 by 36. Okay. This one I said was 36 by 18 but I'll show you that in a minute. So first with even groups. On a nine by nine torus, I'm saying you'll have three, what I call, and I'm defining now as a nested vortice circuit. That's one of these nested vortice family number groups. It curves in here, comes out directly across and back in the other side in a perfect mirror, okay? It's also, by the way, mirroring the number group, which is three behind it directly at uh, 90 degrees across. They're forming helical curved mirrors. Okay, so on a nine by nine, you're gonna have three nested vortice circuits. This is the minimum that you can have in the system. So it's never uh, one interconnected circuit. So you have three nested vortice circuits, which means you have six doubling circuits. Um, that is consists of 18 vortices, so it's three groups of six vortices. On an 18 by 18 torus, we have six nested vortice circuits, okay, which gives me 12 regular doubling circuits, 72 vortices, six groups of 12 vortices each. On a 27 by 27 torus, we have nine nested vortice circuits. So notice as I go up, it's just going three, six, nine. Okay. I have 18 doubling circuits, 162 vortices, and they're in nine groups of 18 vortices each. On a 36 by 36 torus, I have 12 nested vortice circuits. So I went three, six, nine, 12. I have 288 vortices. 24 circuits, they're in 12 groups of 24. So notice these are going up in clear multiples. You can write them down and look at it. They're multiples of three, multiples of six, they're gonna be multiples of 12, okay? 45 by 45, I have 15 nested vortice circuits, 450 vortices, there's 30 doubling circuits. Uh, the vortices are in 15 groups of 30. 54 by 54, 18 nested vortice circuits. That makes 36 doubling circuits. 648 vortices, 18 groups, 36. 63 by 63s, 21 nested vortice circuits, 882 vortices, 42 doubling circuits, and they're in 21 groups of 42 vortices. I have this going all the way up to 108. I can keep going. I'm not going to read them all. You can do the work on your own and find out. I, you're just going to find the same thing that I found. Let's try with a different ratio. Instead of doing even numbers, 9 by 9, 18 by 18, now we're going to do a ratio of half. So I'm going to have half on the vertical as I do on the horizontal. Or you really could do it the other way. The vortices still add up the same. But we'll say half on the vertical is the horizontal. So I'm going to start with 9 on my vertical and 18 on my horizontal. For that torus, I have three nested vortice circuits, 36 vortices, they're in three groups of 12, uh, and they have six doubling circuits. 
for an 18 by 36. That's what this torus was based on. I have six nested vortice circuits, just like I showed you. 144 vortices, 12 doubling circuits, they're in six groups of 24. In a 27 by 54, I have nine nested vortice circuits, 324 vortices, 18 doubling circuits, and there are nine groups of 36. For a 36 by 72 torus, I have 12 nested vortice circuits, 576 vortices, 24 doubling circuits, they're in 12 groups of 48. Again, I've taken this all the way up, 63 by 126. The formula never breaks. Just to satisfy you, I'm going to do a couple more, and then we'll, we'll see where this goes. I did a ratio of one-third, just to test it as well. So now I'm talking about 9 by 27, 18 by 54, 27 by 81. Okay, I hope you can follow me. So 9 by 27, I have three nested vortice circuits, six doubling circuits, 81 torus, I have nine nested vortice circuits, 486 vortices, uh, they're in nine groups of 54, and that's 18 doubling circuits. So again, I've taken this up higher and higher. Um, as far as the other base system, it would, I'm sure that no one is really up to speed too much on that. Um, the circuits still work, basically, um, the way they add up. If I do a 25 by 25, I have uh, 50 vortices, they're in 5 groups of 10, and that's because here I'm working with a different base system where I'm working with groups of 5 instead of groups of 3. Alright, so these are 5 groups of 10. If I do a 50 by 50, I've got 200 vortices and they're in 10 groups of 20, still based on multiples of 5. Okay, this whole system is based on multiples of 5, it's a 5 squared. 75 by 75 has got 450 vortices, they're in 50 group, I'm sorry, 15 groups of 30. 100 by 100, there are 800 vortices, they're in 20 groups of 40. Scale it as far as you want, you're going to find the same result. So. With all that said, it's very difficult to explain in such a rapid explanation. Um, my goal is to have this work dissected. I'm claiming a huge claim, which is that all of the current applications and tests are fatally flawed because of this. And if that is not the case, then, then the whole mathematical system has a huge challenge in front of it, which is that it needs to be completely redefined. So I'm saying it's got to be one or the other. I'm putting myself out there to make that claim. And I'm claiming that now I've, I have discovered a whole new realm in vortex-based mathematics and 3D fractals. And this is just the beginning of what I'm working on. So with that, I'll leave it there. I appreciate your time and patience and listening. Um, Please write me in to let me know uh, questions that you have. Do the work out on a sheet of paper. Try it on your different toruses. I'm saying I have perfect mirrors in every possible angle you can attack it from. I have absolute perfection on the torus. I have perfection of nested vortices sequence. I have perfection of my doubling circuits. I have perfection of the multiplication tables. Okay. I have abided by every single principle that's in the original symbol without breaking one. And I'm, and I'm claiming that if there are not multiple circuits, then there is no nested vortice sequencing. And in that case, uh, this whole thing needs to be uh, trashed. I don't believe that. I believe it's true and valid. That's why I believe it's important to understand this multiple circuits. If you want to make this thing fly, this is how you steer it. This is how you control it, by controlling these nested vortices. I'm now saying I have a secret to it. So I humbly submit that to uh, peer review, and I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you.